the narrative behind the project was really a narrative of equality. Mandela will be the first to tell you that he didn't do this on his own, but there were so many other incredible people that helped bring that peaceful transition through. We decided to open the exhibition here at MOAD simply because it's, it's almost revelationary. For a lot of people, Johannesburg is a dangerous place. There are issues here, but some of the friendliest, most incredible, creative, beautiful people in the world live here. This is Evelina Shabalala. Here's a woman who's an incredible athlete, undervalued, not commercialised, lives with HIV, but makes no excuses and asks for nothing. Never made a film, didn't want to make me a filmmaker, none of the above. Um, but I thought we could video what we photographed and then maybe showcase it on a phone. And that was really this organic process, the idea behind multimedia for, for me. And that's how the 21 Icons project started. 21 Icons app's all about the project. You can actually point the app at the actual photo itself and it will augment the story and the film back onto your phone. Helen Sabidi is one of South Africa's great female black artists. Like a lot of these portraits, narrative changed on the day. So we took her work outside, this is actually in her backyard, and we held it up. And that's Kwati Lamini Mandela, that's Nelson Mandela's granddaughter, that's her hands. And that's Harriet Pratton, and she was the creative director behind the project. Everything she does, there's just, there's no pretense at all. There's no Photoshop, and what you see is what you get, black and white traditional photos straight out of camera. 21 was just a reflection of the present, 21st century for us. 21 is a number. We just keep shooting these collections of people here in South Africa and at the end of this year we will start shooting global icons and move into other regions. This is obviously a portrait of Nelson Mandela. The project was inspired by him in a funny way. No one had shot a portrait of him for six, seven years. We really didn't think we were, we were a chance, but he did, he fell in love with the project and I was fortunate enough to spend time with him. I spent 93rd birthday, 94th birthday, we are all human beings. Mandela in that room was just a great grandfather, a grandfather, a father with kids leaning all over him. He's got a little great grandson who all he wants to do at that point is cut the cake. This particular portrait was the last portrait of him shot. I think these positive stories need to be told because we focus on the negative. It's so easy to focus on the negative. As a photographer, I can pick up a camera and I can go and shoot flies in the eyes. I can shoot poverty, I can shoot war, all of the above, and I can come back with photos that shock the fuck out of you. But it's much harder to come back with a narrative that says, hey, look at this, there's a commonality here, and life's worth it, I guess. Without, without being righteous or without being sort of um, didactic, 